Welcome to Digital Doc Training of Loom Sub Enamel Illumination. Our goal is to show you crystal clear photos and you base your recommendation off of what you see. We will cover the following. Attaching the loom, taking images, what to look for, disinfecting loom, pedo tip, when to take loom images, installation, and technical support. Attaching the loom, simply slide it over the camera. You will have a sheath on or off the camera at this point. Double click the icon in the bottom right toolbar of your computer and this will turn your camera light off. Then take your camera with the loom on it, turn it over and you're gonna press the one button on the back of the loom to activate the loom light. You're now ready. Use a pencil grip to hold the camera and your second finger to capture the image. So you can use one or the other of the capture buttons depending on if you're upper arch or lower arch. The loom will simply expand over the occlusal surface as you press down. Adjust the position up or down to get the light to shine through the tooth so that when the image is clear, you're gonna press the capture button. You can take a tour of the patient's mouth by sliding the loom literally from tooth to tooth and you don't have to take the loom off each time. You can just go from tooth to tooth. The tips are very comfortable to both the tooth and the, the tissue. Taking images. Simply press the capture button on the camera to freeze the image and save into your imaging software. You can see in this example a color image on the left and then a loom image on the right. The shaded area in between the teeth, the interproximal area there, you can see that shaded area, that's decay in both teeth. And that did not show up on the bite wing. So that's an example of what you can see that you won't always be able to see from digital x-ray. Loom is also great for discovering fractures. Um, you share this with your patient. Here's an example with some fracture lines in the, uh, in the teeth coming off that amalgam there. So those show up very nice. To disinfect the camera, just remove the loom from the camera. Okay, so to disconnect the loom tip, you wanna place your thumb inside of the base and then wiggle the top part off with your other hand by pulling it towards you. You can wipe or spray the unit with a, a one minute kill, let's say. A lot of offices are choosing to just spray the unit down with a good one minute kill or you can autoclave the tips. Make sure if you're gonna use an autoclave or a statum, it's on a 10 minute cycle at no more than 273 degrees. Okay, that's the maximum you need to have the temperature is 273 degrees. The loom box comes with eight tips. The goal here is for hygienists that you see eight patients a day, there's a tip for each patient. So if you're going to autoclave, then you don't have to stop in between. You can just use a tip on each patient uh, and there are eight. You'll also see that there are multiple batteries for replacement. You just simply remove the cap, the end of the loom, slide that little, little portion out there and you'll see the battery, replace the battery and just push it back in. It's real easy. We do have a pedo tip available. You'll notice here in this photo that the pedo size is shorter. You can watch on our YouTube channel. There's an example of loom images taken. Here's a boy and a girl, both seven years old. The boy can open up his mouth really wide, the girl not so much. And there's a four-year-old little boy also that we used the pedo tip on. We were able to get access to all teeth with no challenges. So you can view that. When to take loom images. Most dental offices equip their hygienists with the loom. Then after taking the intraoral camera photos, they simply attach the loom, double click the icon, and they take a tour of the patient's mouth while in the loom mode. Okay, then they just slide the tip back off, right? So slide the loom back off of the camera, double click that icon again, and your camera light will come back on and you'll be back in color mode. Installation. 
if you are using a previous version of our camera, let's say it's the Iris 2.0, for example, make sure that your camera setting is on the one position. Okay, with X80, you, it's an autofocus camera, so you don't have to set the, the focal settings at all. It just does it for you. Technical support. Any technical questions, please call Digital Doc, 1-800-518-1102 between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can also access remote support from our website. Click support and then remote support. We will remote log into your PC and get you taken care of. Appreciate your time. Thank you for your business.